Bobby here with another episode of the Bobby Experience. So, uh, business endeavor I have just started. Um, got in the candy machine, the vending machine business uh, with these uh, types of machines that distribute M&Ms and um, Skittles, those kind of candies and where you just put in a quarter. Uh, so as you can see from uh, this picture, I yeah, have a, uh, several machines and this was the last machine I set machine uh, that I was going to put out with the, the set of machines I had I was going to come out to the location today um this is what it looks like yeah got the pretty self-explanatory got the um spot where you put in the quarter turn it get some candy All right so I dropped off my last machine today uh previous day it was uh closed and I went back when it was open. So the plan is, is uh, every month, every end of the month, I'm going to uh, stock them as need them as, as needed, uh, uh, clean them and take the quarters out. And uh, I'm going to follow up with you in a month uh, from this particular recording of the video uh, to see how much quarters I got after the month is over. Yeah, so it's been about a month and uh, day after Christmas, I'm going to be checking up on my machines. See how much I made in each one, how many quarters I'm gonna get. I'm gonna walk into the first location I'm checking now. Uh, well, that's not good. Then again, it's only the first month. All right, here's for the second location. <clears throat> All right, as you can see, a little more than the last location. Okay, here's another machine that's in a break room. It has nice pictures of uh, Marvel characters in here. All right, not much action here either. Hmm. Here's my last location. I have a double head at a fender shop. So I'm going to count how much I've made, uh, which each of these four locations, and I can already tell how much was I made from some of them just by looking at the bag, you know, with the very little quarters with some of them here. Uh, so I emptied each bag of quarters, counted the amount of quarters per location. And I got the total amount of all of them together, which came out to uh, my total amount of that I made for this month of uh, December, eighteen dollars and five cents. Somebody put a nickel in the machine, which doesn't get you a uh, gumball or any candy, um, but it still wasn't one of those machines, which is why I came out with that. Uh, $18.05, that, uh, that nickel. So some closing thoughts I'd like to share uh, after seeing my totals with each of those vending machines. I'm a bit underwhelmed, but it's what I expected, what I pre prepared for. Uh, that's, I may make very little, you know, with some. Uh, now I, what I was hoping for was like about $30 to $50 per machine. And as you can see, that was not the case. Uh, but I still remain optimistic though, because number one, the machines have only been out there a, a month. And number two, if I still continue to get, uh, less tra uh, traffic with those machines that didn't make as much, I could... Uh, change uh, locations. Uh, what I did notice was that the um, that gumball machine uh, did pretty well uh, in my double head, and it performed better than all the M and M machines. Uh, so, uh, one of the things I'd plan to do is probably in about a month or so, uh, my next machine would be a um, single head. Uh, machine that has um that, has, that 
that carries gumballs. Um, so with the little experience I have now, I still can't entirely predict uh, how well uh, a machine can do, uh, you know, at one location over another, uh, how much traffic could come in. Um, but uh, I, it's, it's really about trial and error. I think there's gonna be some growing uh, pains in this business. You know, I had this theory uh, that maybe the M&M machines didn't do well as that one gumball machine because of peanut allergies that people will have. But after talking to the manager of the company where I got the gumball machines, he said, what he said was that uh, there was such a small percentage of people who have peanut allergies that it wouldn't make any kind of significant difference of uh, the traffic, uh, the, the amount of quarters I would get for those uh, machines. Uh, but I, I titled this uh, video part one because I plan to do a follow-up video in a few months after I have uh, some more machines and hopefully show much better results. I still think that this can be a lucrative business where uh, someone can earn a good residual passive income. And I know this because of some results that other people have experience in, in other places um, who also have these um, same kind of machines. All right, this is Bobby with the Bobby Experience. I will catch you in the next video. Uh, take care. And if this is the last video I make for uh, this year, uh, Happy New Year. Peace.